No, no, no. But we've we've done a couple of things with Tabo. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like what? I've not heard you mention him. Spotlight on Kenyan music, the which birthed Kinabien and many of the uh, e other. E e e thank you for uh, saying that. Guy! I was about to be shot right here. <laughs> I, I am the one who brought Kinabien to Spotlight on Kenyan Music. Let's talk about that. Tell us about Spotlight on Kenyan Music. <laughs> Spotlight on Kenyan Music was being sponsored by the French... Cultural um, Center. Uh, French Embassy through Alliance Francaise. Okay. Which is the former French Cultural Center. So they brought us together. Uh, Suzanne Gashukia, the late... Uh, what's this heavy? Achieng Abura. Achieng Abura. Mm -hmm. uh, and a couple of other, other musicians. So there was a committee for the spotlight on Kenyan music, which I headed at the initial stages. I was the chairman of the committee. And then later on, uh, Tabu became the chairman. Mm. So we were, we, our focus was to, for all artists up and coming and even established, to come onto that program project and qualify by doing their own music not mm -hmm. covers mm. and it opened up doors for many from groups from as far places as Garissa there's a female wow. group from Garissa which even toured you know and then of course when I met Kinabien uh -huh. they like to say I discovered them I told them look come to Allianz, there's this, this, this going on. And that's how they joined the, pro the, the project. Mm. And then so many other artists who came out of uh, that project. So it went on even after we changed, Tabu became the, that's where we act more closely with Tabu. Mm. Now he became the chairman, I was a, a team member. And we were there till the end of the project, I think four or five years later. Mm. Yeah. Are you, you're the one who told, one of the things that, that we, are, we had talked about is the same way you told, um, what do you call these guys, Five Alive. Yeah. Hey guys, how about you just be singing in, you know, Africa? You told the same thing to Saudi Soul. Yeah. When they came to you, they were... They didn't come to me. I went to them. You went to them? Yeah, I, I had a show at the village market. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah, I had a show at the village market, and then I hear these nice voices in the corner. They were singing to themselves and friends. So I went to them, and I just stood behind them, and they were singing. And singing. When they stopped Kidogo, I interjected. I, I said, Abarizenu, nini, nini, I'm Katana. I said, you guys have wonderful voices. Awesome voices. Why don't you record? And I started talking to them. And even the, the most bubbly one, I stand to be correct, is Bien. <laughs> ah, you tutafanya bananini. And, you know, we striked it off. I said, listen, there's a project going on, the spotlight on Kenyan music at the Alliance Frances. E mm. Kadiangu, you can call me, or you just come there and register. I but I told them before I leave, I left, I said, you are sounding so awesome, but here's the thing. I want to hear you sound the same doing your own music or an African song in an African style. Mm. And I left. And then we went to Village Market. This actually was in Form 4, third town, before we actually... story. <laughs> we went to Village Market for a singing competition. And that singing competition, the judge was John Katana from The Mushrooms. What? He had a singing on that day. He pulled us to the side and we won the competition. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So that was actually our first ever award. But you went as who? You're still nameless. Voice in the light. Of <laughs> in the light. As voice in the light, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. John Katana pulled us aside and told us, you people sound amazing and you have the potential to have an amazing career. But you don't have any culture in you. You're singing boys to men's songs. You have to like bring yourselves back to your roots. So go and write a couple of Swahili songs and come back. Give me a call. So we switched numbers. We wrote some Swahili songs. We gave him a call. He called us for an audition at the Alliance Frances 
for something called Spotlight on Kenyan Music. No way. We went for the audition, we passed. He gave us bus fare. We went to record our first ever song. No way. The three of us now. Uh-huh. Me, Savara and Chimano. That's when we called ourselves Sauti. Because everywhere we went to see guys were like, ah, I'm a Jenna Gona Sauti Poa. So it was a Sauti. I'm a Sauti. Hey, Sauti, what about the two? Hey, my Sauti. Hey, I mean, everywhere. Because we, we were just in every open mic, everything, mm. you know. Then we, Allianz funded our first recording on that project. And we performed with the, the Mushrooms at Allianz Frances for the launch of that Spotlight of Kenya music project. And it was so beautiful because I grew up watching John Katana. Yep. I grew up adoring this guy. And he's the guy who opened the doors for us. That's insane. To enter, to get into the music industry. So the whole of 206, when we were still reco- like rehearsing in the park and doing stuff, we were also part of that Kenya Spotlight on Kenya music project. That's when now they came to do it. They came to Allianz, they registered. Them Mushrooms was the first band that was backing up all the artists. Mm. So Saudi Soul got to perform with the band for the first time with them mushrooms. Mm, 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 mm. And that time I'd asked them, what, what do you call yourselves? They dilly dally and then they say, we call ourselves voices. So at Allianz, I called Bien aside. I said, Bien, voices, yes. Lakini jiteni sauti. Jiteni sauti. Because you have the voices. Sauti in Europe, they'll ask, what? And I gave him the example. We are them mushrooms, not mushrooms. Mm. Not the mushrooms. <laughs> That's how the name Sauti came. Uh, so initially they were Sauti. Yes, not Sauti Soul. Sauti Soul was a bit later. Yes, now. Yeah. That's why they like to say, ah, Katana discovered the mushrooms. God discovered the mushrooms through, <laughs> uh, discovered <laughs> Sauti Soul through Katana. That is an incredible story. Oh, man. <laughs> so I was lucky to hear some of the early recordings because Bien would come with the guitar, you know, the restaurant at the, at the Allianz. Allianz, and then there's that Kagaden. Yes. I remember him playing, uh, I think it was Lazizi, I can't play. Sikiza ino, mama, sikiza ino. And he played it and he said, yeah, this is the direction you should take. Siole mamboya. Boys to men, cool. I was a bit blunt. <laughs> <laughs> Which is wonderful advice. You know, love yourself. Yeah. <laughs> but Man, they've made this country proud. Extremely. Yeah. How good, how, how have you felt seeing their growth along the years? I mean, we're speaking maybe a week after they've, uh, they're going to their next growth stage yeah, as individuals. Just, uh, but what was that, what does that meant to you to see a band that you saw start, stay together and get to th- those levels. I feel very happy, satisfaction that God used me to just advise Kidogo, which they used, and this is what came out of it. That's powerful. You know? And uh, I remember there was a time, Walifanya Beef, BNC, Nani, it was in the media. Kumbe, it was a arranged. <laughs> so I called, I felt so bad. I don't know what flowed into, through me. I just called Bien, I said, Bien, nini sasa mnataka kuaribu jina ya band? And he calls me Baba, ah, Baba wajua hapana. Hile ilikuwa tumepanga tu ni mambo ya publicity. I said, musifanye bana na I I forgot that they are banned in their own right. Mm. I, because I called them my, my children mm. in music, mm. I, I was talking to him like I'm a father. Yeah, I said, the discipline that we, we have in music, yeah. I didn't want them to mess <laughs> us. So he laughed. <laughs> I remember that day I said, uh, sour, come on, you go sour, man. And <laughs> took our channel. Because for you, that's nothing, something you never, even in this whole interview, as were my right, we talked about, your conversation has been about your work, I've not heard you at any moment talk about the kings and queens that you've sat with. In fact, it's, if anything, it's me who's brought it up. You know what I mean? You've not brought out your showbiz, uh, the, uh, the countries that you've traveled. I'm going to make you bring it out for one second. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what I felt from you, honestly speaking, is it's, it's like you're here to give 
And for you, it's not about, oh, I was on stage with Lucky Dube, for example. Who is somebody you've been on stage with, right? Yeah, yeah, in Botswana. You get what I mean? Have you ever uh, been with, uh, I like I really like this guy from Zimbabwe. Two, uh, Mutukudzi. Past, yes, Mutukudzi. No, we've, we've never shared stage with Oh, with never. Mutukudzi. You say shared stage with Lucky Dube in Botswana mm -hmm. and Conry Sikobo from South Africa. This wow. was Lucky Dube's bitter rival and we shared stage with them in wow. Botswana. Wow. Yeah. I mean, in terms of Europe, where haven't you gone to? I would say when Eastern somebody... Eastern Europe back in the day. Oh, the Lo yeah. La Slovenia, so yeah, 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 yeah. they know. <laughs> We've oh, been to a good chunk of the countries in Western Europe. Yes, yeah, so the Euro the Paris is the France. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Sweden, Holland, uh, UK, Germany, Switzerland, and so forth and so on. Greece, you know. Mm. Uh, but the the so-called Eastern, yep. we never got an opportunity to wear. Okay. So Europe, we've done the rounds. Mm -hmm. In the Middle East, oh, so many countries. Mm. Uh, and then in Asia, we've done a very two very big shows in Rajasthan in India. How now? How High up that, in the mountains, Mount that, Abu. Who, who is that and how does that happen? <laughs> <laughs> who was listening to the Marshall? Like, we need these African brothers on this mountain. <laughs> And then in Africa, so many countries, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the only place we've not been, the two Americas, North and South, we've never been to. Isn't that, I found that insane. You know, we were invited to go and do a show in Canada. But then the local airline was supposed to support. Mm. So, in fact, that same show is where Kanda Bongoman went and got a break in Canada. We were supposed to be on the same show, and uh, Kenya always didn't move. What? But, uh, <laughs> we have, hata tukona hiyo gazeti tuli complain katika gazeti, tukakata. So we missed that show in Canada. That would have been the first opportunity for the mushrooms or me in North Northern Europe. Wow. But as an individual, Not an American. as an individual, have you gone? No, 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 never. Okay. What about Australia? No, Australia, New Zealand, no. Okay, yeah. okay. But, but the archipelagos, we've been to Seychelles. Yes. You know, but Africa, you've seen it ah, from from. Ukuman. I mean, by the time you've done Morocco, Morocco <laughs> and Rabat, Egypt, Morocco, probably six the, months, man. Six months. Six months in Rabat, Morocco. Watch, <laughs> Abana. <laughs> What has, what has traveling the world done for you when people receive our music, and I'm saying our through you, yeah. through, through it being Kenyan music, what, what, what has that done for, what have you seen? You know this thing that we always say, Kenyan music, it can't go across borders, Kenyan music, you are the one who's taking it, so what have you yeah, seen yeah. when you play there? Uh, Kenyan music is appreciated, or the mushrooms music is appreciated in many countries. We just do, we just have to do the needful, promote it. And back then, like I said, in Africa, when we did the Utna shows, mm. that was promotion. Yes. And they, they started calling us from different countries. That's all we need to be doing, you know? And it's much easier now with the digital, the digital space. Exactly. Much easier now. Okay. So iko kazi lazima And yeah. if you want to know, we've gone full times, full blast now on social media because of that. Mm. You've reinvented again. Kabisa, kabisa. Tunaskuma, so we were on Spotify a good part of last year. They were our partners and they were really pushing the band. We are moving on to other things now. I love it. Yeah. Uh, so, so COVID was just a silent period. Did you get to reflect over your years, that, that downtime? Yes, yes, and it gave us a good period to now reflect on this forthcoming exhibition. Because that's the time we were just, we had so much time on our hands, or I had, to, because the bulk of the stuff is at my house. Mm. So, nilikuwa na toa, naangalia, eh, hii picha, reminding me of a show we did maybe in Ethiopia, mm. this way, there. 
and it was a very good time besides the virtual shows for me to reflect on how I want to be remembered. Mm. Legacy. Mm. How I want to be remembered. And 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 and, wo- and what is that if you are to verbalize it? That Kawan guy who whispered something in an upcoming artist's ear that propelled them to be what they they'll be. That's how you want to be remembered. Yeah. Of course I, I want to have a good life. Yes, yes. When I don't think I'll exit the music mm. scene. Yes. You will as exit as, doing the music scene. Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah. As long as I'm healthy, I'm in the music scene pack my last breath. Mm. But I want to leave a legacy that I blessed people, young artists who can stand on their feet 10 years from now, 2 years from now. And yule ambaye atakumbuka atasema eh this was because of Katana or God used Katana. I'm happy if I start mentioning some of the artists that have done that to uh, mm. to them ni wengi. You know, you know where they can see that? They can see that at the exhibition. <laughs> 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 and anyway, you've already mentioned so many of them. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. not that they, that you're hiding them or Yeah. That's powerful. Okay. I want to leave this open to you. Do you feel like there's anything that you'd like to talk about within this period? For anything from 2010 all the way until today? If you feel like there's anything I've left, ah, uh, this is now to all our fans wherever they'll watch this. We're coming up with new music. Watch out for it. If you can don't miss the exhibition if you're in town or even out of town. And we want to say a very very big thank you to all who have been our fans who have consumed our music over the years because one thing is without you we would not be what we are today the band i would not be who i am today because if you didn't partake of my songs the band's songs i wouldn't be sitting here talking about all these things um it's a bit emotional for me to look back and uh, see the people that I've interacted with in the music industry both locally and abroad and many of them have blessed me in their own special way I've blessed them back and I'm going to keep doing that keep doing that I want to mention one musician from the coast his name is Eddie Teacher watch this guy Kenya mngalieni wa kijana he has it and sooner or later by god's grace ataingia kwenye ligi ya kina sauti sol if that's what god has destined him for or to but katana yuko <laughs> and uh, sasa natengeza legacy but i keep doing the music asanteni sana what an amazing conversation yani i can't i i can't even get over the fact that we have been freely given such a wealth of information by such an incredible human being who has played such an incredible part in forming the foundation of the industry that we stand on known as the Kenya music and entertainment scene um it this has been a blessing of a conversation guys this has been a blessing of a conversation what it has been something uh, to mr katana now i'm going to formalities <laughs> right now no one is going to say katana to mr katana i just want to say thank you thank you for coming an hour early <laughs> thank you for all the behind the scene conversations Uh, that you've had with us thank you for everything that you've shared on the camera uh, thank you for what you have done for this Kenya music industry and that you continue to do um, the best gift that i can give you is is a, is, is firstly prayer 
um, and just tell, and I'd li like to pray on your behalf. I I'd like to pray for you uh, from this team. So Heavenly Father, thank you so much for, um, you came through God. The conversation was amazing. I thank you for your son. I thank you for the gifting that you have given him. I thank you for the work that not just him, but him and his brothers put in, their mushrooms put into this, the foundation of this um, Kenyan music industry. Unfortunately, sometimes a lot of people don't see the foundations. But the only reason that the building can go as high as it goes is because of the foundation. So I thank you for the foundation that is the mushrooms. Uh, that work has not been in vain. Anytime somebody looks at anybody in this music industry, we know whose shoulders they are standing on. We know who's, who's done the hard work and who's gone deep down so that they, they can rise to as high as they've, they've risen to. And I'm not just talking about Saudi Soul. I'm talking about everybody who's on the journey, everybody who's going to come onto this journey even after. So God, you're a good God. And where people give of their lives, you give back to them. So to each and every single member of the Katana family, those who've been there for two months, uh, I mean, the, of the, the Mushrooms family, those who've been there for two days, anybody who pitied, anybody who was there for just a season, uh, God, we ask that you bless them because they've all done the work. And to Katana, who's been there until now, I mean, he talked about 14 year old and now he's in, I don't know what, uh, mid 60s. How insane is that? that somebody has been doing this for 50 plus years. God bless him, bless his family, uh, bless his, his, his partner, bless his brothers, uh, bless their studio, uh, bless the exhibition that they're about to do, uh, bless their future. Uh, the best thing is that this is not over. This is only the beginning. Bless even the transition as they hand the baton to the next generation. The next generation will take it and even continue to, to build more foundations for other people to come. I want to say thank you for his life. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Asante Sana, God bless you all so, so very much. Asante Sana, thank you. Last but definitely not least, to all the people who supported and you've been watching, the time right now is 4 p.m. Hey, hey. And our guest came on an hour earlier, so we are ending today early. <laughs> We're not doing our usual hard stop at 6, because, hey, he's been here throughout the whole time. Um, thank you so much for being with us this far. The merchandise is available. If you'd like the merchandise, links are in the comment section. Uh, so pinned donation, a big thank you to each and every single one of you. To you as well, God bless you. Last but definitely not least, and I promise after this we're out. If you're looking for the best video production people in the country, I'm talking about none other than Wamai and Aizo. In the world. Oh, Wamai says the world, not the country. <laughs> uh, Henry Wamai uh, and Aizo Nyakora, Isaac Nyakora. Aizo Nyakora on a lot of these different socials. Reach out to them. I'm not going to put their phone numbers here so that you can start spamming them. Serious people will find them. Not difficult to find in this day and age. A big thank you and God bless each and every one of you. Uh, our name is still coming, I promise. January, we're not going to, I'm going to have to be ending with our name. God bless you. And remember, you never truly know people until you take time to get to know people. Thank you so much for this, Mr. Katana. God bless. Asante San. I've committed Ooh. to shoot, meaning I have to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I send a sana for this. You know what?